Yo, what is up everyone? We are back. We are playing Component Anvils. I have an emo Annie e headliner and I have two super fans. So we're probably probably looking for Lilia. Uh, I'm not really sure what I'm going to play here. Should I just play Annie e reroll? I'm actually, I'm actually down. Let's just play Annie e reroll. Let's just play Annie e reroll. Belt. Sword. And we play towards Nashes and we play towards Spark. Spark Nashes. I wish I had a full one of the two, honestly. The, the crit's a bit sus, but I mean, we'll make it work. It's Emo Annie, so should be fine. feel bad about selling the Annie now, though. Stacking infinite AP Annie. I mean, honestly... I feel like we have to play, um... Like, we have to play reroll Annie from this spot now that I've taken this. 100% agree about winning train in Spike Galaxy. It's not fun. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, my sentiment is just, like... If you... If you don't hit a good Wandering Trainer... Or you have a bad opener or bad bad spat like game, it feels so much worse than like a normal game because everyone else is like like so much stronger than you. Like if you have a bad wandering trainer and you're just sitting there thinking like, how am I meant to play this game? Like this guy has disco dazzler, I don't know disco dazzler hyper pop on his wandering trainer, and I have. I don't know, Pentakill, Hard Steel, Spellweaver. It's like, well, that's uh, that's a GG if I ever seen one before. It's fun to get creative, that's true, but it's ranked. It's like, it's fun to get creative, but you're not going to win the game when you have Pentakill, Hard Steel, Spellweaver. But, I mean, I, I, overall, I don't mind it. it. It's fine. I don't want to say I'm complaining about it loads. Like, I just prefer the, um, the non, non wandering trainer spatula um, galaxy. Got a little. This guy's pretty strong. Wow. It's actually really hard for us to beat this guy. I might have to try and target the the Vi instead of the Ergot. I mean, instead of the Tom Kench. This is also pretty hard to win. I don't think we win this, but let's see. I have a lot of Annies, but also I don't. Like, four Annies is decent, but at the same time, I have the headliner already. So I can't just hit the random three. Like, I've definitely played Annie reroll in a spot where I've had like four non headliner Annies here. And then, like, the headliner Annie takes you straight to seven. Fast, uh, spat. Ooh, we took it. I see it's just country, isn't it, from this guy? You just play trade sector here, just play country spat. I need this bow, right? Oh, perfect. I got this. Let's go. I got this. It's too high variance. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. I guess the... Oh, wait. Guys, I'm contested. <laughs> you guys... I'm contested. I need reroll. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I mean, what else can I play with learning to spell? Honestly, not much. We have 218 AD, AP. It's quite a lot. He has a couple more than you. Yeah, just a few. But honestly, I have better augment now. I mean, this is pretty good. I didn't realize he was, he was playing it too. Maybe I should have scattered. But, I mean, I've committed now. I won't pivot. I mean, I might. Depends what, depends what I... Like, if I hit Seraphine, I can play Seraphine for sure. Oh, actually, maybe I'll play Seraphine. Maybe I'll just play Seraphine reroll. I feel like that comes actually hella good. 
Bei Kaiki. I think you need decap though. I have Nashes. I mean, I can play. I think you need like decap red buff. Is the is the the, the Seraphine board? Seraphine reroll is basically this board plus. Um, uh, I mean, let me build it. It's Lilia, Cannon, Echo, Eco, Seraphine, Ari, Lulu, Ari. It's this. Then you like add uh, Sona or a KDA, depending on what you hit. I mean, you also can replace Lulu for um, Sona. Then you add you either add Sona or random KDA, I guess. I actually think uh, Seraphim Reroll is probably pretty good here. Because I have... Like, if I slam Decap as well, like I feel like she just will one-shot everyone. Let's see. I mean, we'll see. We'll see. I'm not I'm not too fast. I feel like my spot's fine. He's level five. Oh he hit. I mean honestly I'm not I'm like There's probably no world where I play this board. But this Annie can hold items until later. Like I don't mind playing Annie here. If I'm gonna roll for Seraphine, I'm probably gonna roll at seven. Yo slap, nice to see you. So I can push levels and just uh Try and preserve HP. Because that guy has hit already. Boom. Spark, nice, huge. Spark is big. Spark is big. Jungle is massive. Slam the spark, yeah. Slam the spark and we'll play towards cap now. Yeah, I think so. I think that is the plan. I think we will just play Seraphine from here. Need um, Echo, ideally, if we can hit it. Oh, my Annie. Good job. I see she's stacking so much AP. It's such a it's such a sad situation. Is that insane? I mean, ideally, I, I, I... Maybe I should roll for Seraphine Headliner. Oh, dude, rolling for days is not even bad. Yeah, like, what if I just hit Seraphine Headliner? It's 18 gold, technically. Okay, no. Like bad, bad, not bad. Oh yeah, I'm down. I'm down, Lulu reroll. I'm down, I'm down bad for it. It's Spellweaver too, I mean, it will do. It will do. Oh wait, Ari's actually crazy. Oh so Okay. I mean it's a it's a fine spot. It's a fine spot. This Lulu will do work. This Lulu will do work. I kind of like the rolling for days there. I don't love the the Shojin Nashes on her, but maybe we can take Shojin off later and play uh, Shojin on on another unit. And then we we're gonna play Seraphine over this and Echo in for five uh, five KDA. I oh, know five um, Spellweaver. I don't know how we're gonna get out of five KDA though. Maybe a Kali Kali over something. Yeah, I think it is just Lulu here, isn't it? I mean, this looks good. I have five Lulus. 
five Lulus at level six. Like, definitely can't complain here. Seraphine. Seraphine, Echo. So we need to go up a level. We'll, we'll roll it at seven. Just roll for Lulu three. I'm happy with the spot for sure. Lulu gets a lot of takedowns as well. Is she polys? I haven't played a Lulu reroll re game, I think, ever this set, so. Interesting spot to be in. Definitely an interesting spot to be in. Spat gives me 5 KDA. But I think we do just play towards. Yeah, actually, maybe we do just play that. I mean, I can play towards blue buff, though. Oh, dude, I'm taking Spat. Five KDA. I mean, it's just good, no? It's just good. It uses a rod, but it's just good. And KDA spat mm, echo. Yeah, I guess echo. Yeah, this is good. Oh, I see. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good about this. This this looks alright. Just play echo with KDA spat next unit, and we have let's have five KDA, five spell weaver. Perfect synergies. Then I'll probably play like frontline, like level eight. I'll play like an Alawi or something. I can hit it. Even another hyper pop unit. Six if I hit it. Play towards jazz. Have a lot of options. So even thrash. Be guardian. Just play a thrash. Not too fast about that. Alilu's in a good spot here, where she's hitting the Annie actually. Okay, nice. We beat the Annie reroll. That's a, that's great. I see that's huge. This guy's like this guy was playing Annie, and yet he's somehow doing better than me, even though he didn't hit and I hit for free. That's right, sir. That is correct. I am in fact stronger than you. Yeah, I need to level. I need to have rod. Oh yeah, honestly, I can TD spat Ari as well. I can play TD Spat Ari. Yeah, I could play TD Spat Ari. That's not even bad. Then play 4 TD and like play Keanu somewhere. Then I need more tears though. I guess if I get a remover, I can remove a Shojin off Lulu. There's a lot of options and I'm not too fast to find everything yet. Let's play 3 Heart Steel, so hopefully we'd win this anyway. How's my Lulu's AP? 261. How much does she naturally get? 30, 50, 70? That can't be right. No way she's made that much already, right? Yeah, I mean, she's boosted at the moment because she gained AP from Spellweaver casting, but... 260 seems a lot, no? 160 extra AP. And she gets... 50 here, and 70 here. She gets 70 total. You're telling me she's already farmed 90 AP? Huh? Oh, KDA too. But still, she's farmed a lot. Good job, Lilu. Oh my goat. Oh my. The game wants me to play it. I'm, I'm getting thanked for pivoting out. They're like, good job. Good job for pivoting, bro. Thank you. My TD spat, Ari. I actually don't even think it's bad. Yo, Johannes. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Yeah, I don't think TD spat Ari is even bad here. It kills my sword, which is fine. And I can play tier towards... Tier towards blue buff Ari. I mean, I'm always spatting Echo here, no? Okay, never mind. I, I'm, I'm down, I'm down. I'm down. I'm down for it. I feel like it's just not bad. And I have a lot of options with my components from here. We roll at one point, but we don't need to roll yet. Let's go 710. I'm 750. Is there a Riven reroller? 
There is a Riven player. I might wait till he's rolled before I roll, honestly. No, your enemy. It's not bad here. Contagion's not bad here. Healing is not bad here. Bulk. My items are spread decently. Our dummies is just best. Alright, let's wait till the Riven rolls zero. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta be that guy. How many's he got? Yeah, I'm down to roll. Roll a little at least. Yeah, I'm down to dig. That was insane. <laughs> Dude, four ribbons in one shot. That guy wishes. Another ribbon. Should we just deny them? <laughs> Should we just hold ribbons? I'm not that mean. Nice, we hit. Good dig. Good dig, good dig, good dig. Had a game yesterday. Last to 7 6. Oh. That is actually a long time, what the heck. Okay, my Lulu's gonna do work now. I'm holding this guy's ribbons as well. I'm a known griefer. <laughs> I'm actually a known griefer. This guy, he's probably like, why the hell does this guy have ribbons? I don't know. 45 minute game, that's crazy. It's actually wild. Yeah, I went TG on this Echo. I like. I feel like I need Frontline. I mean, from this spot, am I just playing Akali next? It's <laughs> be TG Akali. I mean, I, I guess I just play 7 Weaver, right? Just play Gragas Sona. I need to go 9. I mean, Gragas Sona doesn't even sound bad here. When the intrusive thoughts take over and you start to grief, yeah. I, I do apologize to uh, that Riven player, but... Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Wait, this loot is two autos to cast. Okay, I mean, maybe it is double Shojin. I feel like that's nasty. Hey, okay, but like... Okay, well, I need anti-heal. I need anti-heal ASAP. I can sell a ribbon here. I can have one. I can have one out the pool. I need tier, but I need anti-heal. It's a tough spot. I think it was KDA spat. I won't lie, I think true damage spat was a bit of a grief, but I mean, we'll make it work. I need blue buff, ideally. Very good. And then this bow is probably red buff or something, like some kind of anti heal. Crit, TG Echo, I guess. Punk has secured me promotion, let's go. We take those for sure. We take those for sure. Actually, I mean, this could be red buff, but it could also just be Nash's too. Then I lose my healing reduct. Like, Aki, the Lulu's good, but it's like, she doesn't, she's not actually one-shotting people. And I think that might be an issue. Is there an Akali? Um, yeah. I moved them both towards the spark. Just move them towards the spark. And I was scared because there was a... Um, this guy. That was his FPA. So, I was a bit afraid. Right, he's hooked here. We beat the Thresh. It's close. Oh, nice one shot, Lulu. Really nice one shot. That's actually huge. Job team. How's the, um, how's the Lulu reroll? I mean, the Annie reroll. It's not doing bad. Down to sell the ribbon here, I guess. The guy's still, I mean, he's far. And this comp caps so high with, with the 8-bit spat, like, he can actually win out. Like, no cap. I can actually win out. So, I will deny him. Because I mean... I'm a, I'm a horrible person. Maybe replace red buff with sunfire. Yeah, I mean, I can definitely sunfire frontline as well. I need some kind of healing reduct. We'll figure out what it is at some point. Does this Annie beat me or does Lulu just polymorpha here? It's a great poly. It's a great poly. <laughs> 
It's a really great poly. Yeah, I mean, I, I grief my Econ for two rounds. It's this turn and next turn, and then the Ribbon player dies, and we don't have to worry about it. Let's hold this Ribbon. <laughs> Look, he's on my board. He's on my board. He's on my board. He's so upset. He's so upset. This guy's actually going to grief me in the future now. I can't believe I made the two-star ribbon. That's so funny. Poor guy. Poor guy, but like also... It is what it is. Oh yeah, maybe it's no, no healing reduct. Maybe it's just Nash's um, and two tank items. I think it is probably that. Um, honestly, I, mean, I just stacked them all on Nico. Like, uh, yeah, I lose true damage value, but it is what it is. He hurt. <laughs> we'll wait for him. I mean, everyone else is hitting, so... This poor guy. Did he get... He didn't even get 8-bit spat off his anvil, no? He didn't get bow. I think he's dead. I'll be honest. I think he's dead. It looks like it. <laughs> I've sold the ribbon. Oh, he's gonna type some mean words. Cause he had. Oh yeah, no, he disconnected. Fair enough. Fair enough to him. Fair enough, I respect that. I would probably have been a lot meaner than what he was, so... Fair enough to him. 4, four KDA. I mean, honestly, if I can go 9 and play Ablin, my board, my synergies look very nice here. Yeah. I really want to one-shot that Viego, but it's very hard for me to do so. On the bright side, my Ari actually melts this Amumu. I might be capping, but I feel like the true damage should... Yeah, okay, it does. Like Haiki, it does. The only problem we're gonna have here is whether the polymorph saves us the game or not. No, I don't think it does. Close. Good effort. Honestly, good effort. Really good effort. Oh, yeah, I'm thinking... I'm thinking we Econ, I'll be honest, I'm thinking we Econ, and we roll down after Elder for Ari too. I think we don't have a choice, unfortunately, except to do that. Uh, I want Kiana, I mean, I, re I really want this Viego, like, to be able to hit this Viego. Uh, the problem is, for me to do that, I have to position away from Spark. And that is an issue for sure. I mean, maybe it's not that bad because I have, um... Wait. Wait? Just walk to the Ziggs. Oh my gosh. My Lulu is smurfing. Oh my- <laughs> She just sniped TF! Yeah. Wait, she's actually smurfing. She has one life now. That's actually crazy. My goat. My goat. Okay, we need Kiana items or Echo items. We need to proc that true damage. I'm thinking blue buff. I'm thinking Bramble. I'm thinking Sterex. Yeah, that, that's, a, that's all I'm thinking. I'm thinking Sterex. Bramble, Sterex. Probably Sterex. Sterex, Kiana. I don't mind. Yeah, I don't mind at the door. Uh, we're going to roll A. I don't think we're going to go 9 this game. That was a Kali pair, but I think it's fine. Yeah, I'm gonna try and angle this guy's Viego towards my um, Ari. And I'm probably gonna swap. Yeah, I'm a bit afraid of the Spark being other side, but I mean, I don't think we really have a choice, unfortunately. Yeah, I'm against Yone. It's pretty hard for me to be this calm, to be honest. So I'd be surprised if I did.
It's good poly. I see I take it. Like three unit loss. It's not bad at all. Okay, cap's really high. Yeah, I need someone to beat Panic because this guy is strong. I feel like when people hit Yon 3, it's insane. Yeah, when people hit Yon 3, it's actually nasty. It's good items too. Best Defiance, i.e. Hodge. It's probably like, I would harm assist as well. Like, really good items. Triple item on Zed as well. It's nasty. It's definitely nasty. I feel like this comes actually not that strong, but I don't know. Maybe maybe it is. It doesn't look that good to me. My sacrifice. Okay, we're into the Amumu. Into the Amumu. My, I mean, my Ari does damage to it, but I, I think before Ari 2, I don't melt it quick enough. Yeah, I don't. Ult. Oh, anti. Okay, top 4, top 4, top 4. Played against the UN3 before Gargantuan and Double Titans. That's nasty. One shot your carry. Oh yeah, that is scary. I mean, uh, the Annie reroll guy's out the pool, so we have a better chance of hitting Ari now. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna roll. I'm not gonna go 9 here. I don't think I can go 9, unfortunately. Yeah, I don't think I... I don't think... The board's good enough. I think roll for Ari. There's a tiny chance I hit Kiana too. Akali 2 is maybe better than Kiana, so we can buy Akali's on the way down. And neat. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Don't not show me in a cut an Ari now. Don't do this to me. Okay, good. Thank you. I'm gonna go Spark Echo as well. I feel like this is just a very good tank item. And I need true damage value on him anyway, so I think it's just good to have. Nice. Hopefully we don't get one shot here. No. It's actually crazy. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Top three so far. Top three. It's good. Honestly, these guys are capped pretty high, so it's quite hard for me to win this. There are two options here. There's 5 KDA or there's uh, true damage. I think the actual solution is 5 KDA. I mean, 4 TD is not bad, right? It's 15% extra damage, but KDA is like a bonus for everyone. So I'm going to take KDA here. My slam stacks on front line. I'm going to... We're going to hope we win this. I mean, honestly, I think I can win this. Like, I mean, this Vex is so strong. But I, th I think it's winnable. Like, the, the Ari should do work, yeah. Like, I don't think anyone else gets past that Amumu as quickly as I do. Okay, I should proc the Zonyas here. Into the Poly, not bad. Wow! Wait, okay, the Pentakill guy won. Okay, we're in an interesting spot here. It's actually... ...hard for us to win this. Is there a way we can win? I mean, I, mean, I think, honestly, our best shot is RE3. Like high key. So we might have to find one more Ari and then sell Lulu. Depends if we win this or not. Like if we if, if we win this, I think I have to go for Ari 3. I don't beat the Pentakill guy. But uh, this guy I beat the ghost of. I see that there's a world where I just don't beat this guy either, but we'll see. I should have moved Lulu uh, where Ari is so that she snipes the Vexes. Uh, I needed to proc the Zonyas probably. Without um, getting to the Vex. Oh, nearly. I nearly proc'd that. I don't have enough AP yet. 
Not bad, not bad. GG's everyone, thanks so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and join the Discord in the description if you want to. Thanks so much, you're the go if you made it this far.